playlists are a huge part of the Spotify ecosystem, and I've made a playlist that has helped me get over 18,000 streams across my catalog. They're super effective, and it's super easy to do. But why? If you're new to me and my music, my name is Adrian Rivera. I release a new song every month on the 25th, and I have been doing this ever since September 2020. Monthly releases is part of my marketing strategy, and I recommend that you get on a similar schedule if you're trying to grow your audience on Spotify, especially since that strategy ties into today's video about playlists, so I highly recommend that you watch all the way through. I love studying other artists and labels marketing strategies, and one thing that commonly popped up was playlists dedicated to an artist's new releases. I started to wonder, why is this so common? and then it hit me. If a listener wants to shuffle an artist on Spotify, they'll most likely hit the shuffle button on the artist profile. However, if an artist has a new release, shuffling their entire catalog might not be ideal, especially if that artist has a bunch of songs in their catalog. You also have to keep in mind that non-premium users on Spotify can only shuffle artist catalog and playlists. So if you have a new release that you're trying to promote, how do you best control what the listener listens to? make a playlist. When you make a playlist, you're able to choose which specific songs are allowed on the playlist. So if you have a new song, chances are if you put that song on the playlist, the people listening to it will hear that song. This is huge in promoting a new song because the earlier you can get engagement on a song, the better the song will perform in Spotify's algorithm later down the line. Not only is having a playlist good for promoting new songs, but it'll help promote your older songs too when people shuffle them in the playlist. Okay, cool. So now we know why having your own playlist is good, but how do you actually optimize this playlist to get you those thousands of streams? Promote your playlist instead of your song. Let me explain. Whenever I release a new song, I put that song at the number one spot on the playlist and change the cover art of the playlist to the cover art of the song. Also, if you're running ads, you should be linking your playlist instead of your song link because now this exposes the listener to more of your music, increasing their chances of becoming a fan. My playlist currently has about 350 followers and in the past month alone, it has generated about 51 listeners and 2018 streams. Wow. But wait, I mentioned earlier how releasing once a month ties into this playlist strategy. How? If you make it very apparent in your playlist title and description that you release new music consistently, it will encourage your followers to come back every once in a while to check if there's a new song, and once they do, they'll just shuffle the playlist anyway. The type of playlist we just discussed is called a listener playlist, but Spotify has three different types of playlists, the other two being algorithmic and editorial. Editorial playlists are very exclusive. They're curated by Spotify's experts and genre specialists. However, if you manage to get yourself onto one of these playlists, it can bring you some really decent exposure. I've been able to get myself onto a few editorial playlists, and they've been able to generate 28,000 streams for me on only two of my songs. If you want to know more about these editorial playlists and how to get yourself onto some of them, I recommend you check out this video right here. Show your genius.